Yo everyone, what is going on? Welcome to the full day of eating. It is currently half 11 and myself and Rach are just about to go shopping. We are going to Rome next weekend, so we need to get a couple of bits for that. So, actually for Christmas, right, me and Rach got each other trips away. So I got Rach Rome and then three weeks after Rome, we're going to Barcelona. That's what Rach got me. So we've got loads of stuff coming up. Need to stock up on like clothes and shit, so see you in a bit. All right, shopping finito. We got loads. Rach got a pair of runners and loads of stuff in the back as well. Drinking a smoothie now just before we go to the gym. That isn't mine. This is mine. So I got a strawberry dream, uh, which has strawberries, mangoes, uh, banana, and strawberry fro frozen yogurt. nice isn't it all right so i'm just waiting on rach to bring her bags into her house and i want to talk about my training a little so for about the month of december or so i kind of took the foot off the gas with the training a little bit like i was still getting there six days a week uh, to the gym but i wasn't tracking my lifts i was just kind of getting to the gym and doing what i felt like on a particular day there was no structure with my training or anything like that so it was just kind of all over the place uh, but over the last month or so i've gotten it back on track i'm back uh, tracking my lifts on my app on my phone and um, I have a solid workout plan in place as well and it's actually making such a difference actually let me show you let me show you all right so this is my training diary here and as you can see I have some of my lifts so let me see so on the flat dumbbell chest press I actually haven't moved up in weight yet I'm finding the 47.5 kg dumbbells kind of hard to get by but we are getting there uh, let me see something else I'm making good progress actually on the reverse squat uh, I've moved up on the lap pull down. What else have we got? On the RDLs, I think I've moved up. So I'm making, you know, a lot of progress and I'm really happy with it. Just after doing four sets of seven there on 47.5 kg dumbbells. I'm doing like a slight pause at the bottom of each rep just to introduce uh, like something different. But I'm at a complete plateau with it. Like my goal is four sets of eight. Um, and I really don't think I'm anywhere near that. You know, I just can't squeeze out that extra rep. Oh, it's so annoying. Might have to change something up. So it is just after four o'clock, as you can see here, and I have 2,647 calories left. Oh my days. I do like saving like a big chunk of my calories for the evening time though. Even though I'm bulking, like I still try and kind of minimize my food in the morning times just so I can have more food in the evening time. Like I'm such a nighttime feeder. So for my post workout meal, I'm gonna have two of these salmon fillets. I'm gonna have a bag of cauliflower rice and I'm gonna have some of this veg as well that I have prepared. Tanner Beth, my mom will say something about salmon. Hey. Alright? Yeah. Oh, oh smelly fish. <laughs> I have window open. No, you too well man. Alright, so it is seven o'clock and I actually want to talk about uh, my progress on this bulk overall. Like I think I've been bulking seven months now which is a bit crazy and um, but i want to have a meal first so let's do that all right next meal we have a, a chicken fillet chopped up we have mixed veg we have some of this tomato and chili pasta sauce and then we have a stuffed mushroom with bacon and leek crispy 
All right, so let's have a look at my bulking stats. So I started my bulk on the 2nd of July in 2018. Today's date is the 2nd of Feb 2019. So I've been bulking for seven months in total so far. And my start weight at the beginning was 75 kg. My current weight, which is today's weight, that is actually my heaviest weigh in on this bulk. And uh, that is 78.4 kg. And that means I've gained a total of 3.4 kg which is approximately 0 0.5 kg per month so a lot of people are probably looking at that and thinking like what the hell you've only gained 3.4 kg in seven months why isn't it going quicker well like the truth is i've probably been lifting consistently for like six or seven years now so at this stage of my lifting career like I can probably only gain one to two uh, kg of muscle per year. Like it was a lot different at the very beginning where you could make gains really, really quickly. But right now, you know, I'm not, I'm just not at that stage anymore. So there's no point in trying to put on weight really quickly because a lot of that will just be fat. So yeah, I'm all about them lean gains at the moment. And the plan is to keep uh, the bulk going for another couple of months. I'll probably get up to that 79, 80 kg mark. Uh, and then I will cut down for summer because me and Rachel are going away uh, again this summer. So I want to be absolutely shredded uh, for that. And I actually want to do a cutting series on YouTube as well where I just bring you along on the journey of my whole cut. Like show you my training, my nutrition, my weekly progress, etc. So if that is something you want to see, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up so I know um, that that's what you're interested in. Rosie, come here. <gasps> yeah, hello. Is that you? <laughs> He'll be on YouTube now. Domino's ordered. Yes. Boom. Domino's has arrived. So we couldn't go all out today. We weren't even meant to get a Domino's, but we saw they do these delight pizzas, which come to like 650 calories or something. So we said we would give them a go. So in here we have cookies. We'll leave them till after. Boom. Looks good. Let's have a look at these delight pizzas. Ready? Mm -hmm. Get it open, Rach. Ooh, it looks pretty good. I wasn't expecting that. All right, honest taste test. Let's go. So I got barbecue base, reduced fat cheese, jalapenos, tandoori chicken, sweet corn, and pineapple. Oh, the, the slices are small, I must say. Let me show. Ugh. Look pretty good though. Mmm. Really good. Really good. Six hundred and fifty cows. Happy days. Alright, Domino's Finito was actually so good for the number of calories that it was. Like, I'll definitely be getting that again. It's actually not even that hard to fit into my calories, like, at all. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna wrap up the video, or wrap up this full day of eating with a full bag of sweet and salty popcorn from Aldi. And then that will pretty much cap off my calories and macros for the day. So thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe. Great. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one.